Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Rachel's Wellness Within Us. And we're going to be giving you another day from the secret language of birthdays. Today's day is May the 7th. Shout out to my friend Marcus, whose birthday it will be on May the 7th. <laughs> so, without further ado, please, if you're liking these videos, please like, subscribe, share, do all the regular things. And May the 7th, the day of devotion. May 7 people are usually of a devoted, uh, sorry, May 7 people are usually of a devotional nature. They will give their last drop of blood to a cause they support, whether religious, spiritual, artistic or social. Although they are not overly concerned with money, they have a good feeling for material things and enjoy possessions that lend pleasure to their lives. Perhaps because they do not strive to amass riches, they often attract gifts, inheritances, or solid rewards from their idealized pursuits. Less highly evolved people born on this day are satisfied with such possessions, or more highly evolved May, May 7 people progress from the material to the spiritual plane, often winding up as far, up far, where... Um, <clears throat> stay say that again perhaps they um perhaps because they do not strive to amass riches they often attract gifts inheritance or solid rewards from their ide idealized pursuits less highly evolved people born on this day are satisfied with such possessions more highly evolved may seven people progress from the material to the spiritual plane often winding up far from when they began far from where they began their life Sometimes the goals of those born on this day are of a religious nature, but even the most mental or aesthetic of May 7 people will imbue their logic with an intense devotion. A love of beauty, particularly of music, is evident on this day. Ven Venetian, Venetian sensibilities are as likely to produce a, as appreciate a beautiful voice. Mm, I think I better look that one up. It doesn't quite sound right. One second. Okay, here we go. A love of beauty, particularly of music, is evident on this day. Venusian. Sensibilities are as likely to produce as appreciate a beautiful voice or sensuous body. Venusian means a hypothetical or fictional inhabitant of the planet Venus um, relating to or characteristic of the planet Venus a Venetian orbit so whatever the hell that means <laughs> I have no idea um, a beautiful uh, Venetian sensibilities are as likely to produce as appreciate a beautiful voice or a sensuous body. Whatever materials May 7 individuals work with will be endowed with sensuality, whether shapes, colors, or interior designs, sounds, or words. Women born on this day can be overly self-efficating. Efficating? Oh my god, why is this so hard? Women born on this day can be over overly self efficating oh, One second. Okie dokie, here we go. <laughs> Women born on this day can be overly self-effacing. Which means not claiming attention for oneself and self-sacrificing. They often manifest frustrations and suppress emotions in nervous conditions and anxiety. Because they are aware of this weakness, however, they are capable of perfecting themselves and subsequently becoming calm, balanced and self-possessed. Self-possessed? Mm. <laughs> God. Yay, I was right. 
Um, woman born on this day, yes, they can often um, perfecting themselves and becoming balanced, calm and balanced and self-possessed. Which means calm and confident in the control of one's feelings, composed. I did not know that. Hmm. Um, men born on this day who have suppressed drives and desires usually manage to fulfill their needs but may do so through great struggle rather than through evolving as people. Outstanding May 7 personalities will move with ease, grace and dignity, aspiring confidence in others. They are incisive and very much to the point, not liking to waste time or beat around the bush. They tend to be loners, enjoying limited social contact and preferring the comfort and security of their own home. As fathers and mothers, they will take the job of parenting seriously, giving their children what they need both emotionally and materially. May 7 people are usually self-taught. They tend to teach, therefore, more by example than by, than by percept, not hesitating to throw the book away if it doesn't work. In essence, those born on this day are very much traditionalists and therefore typically conserve in their orientation. They study tradition, most often independently, in order to master their field and give a solid underpinning to what they do. Whether formal or informal in their approach to life, those born on this day are extremely sensitive people who specialize in guarding their emotions and, if successful, uh, sublimating them into, in, in their life's work. The key for them is to harness this emotion without it becoming blocked or suppressed. Those born on the seventh day of the month are ruled by the number seven and the planet Neptune. Because Neptune is the watery planet ruling visions, dreams and psychic phenomena, those ruled by number seven must guard against losing touch with reality. This is, this is doubtably true for May 7 people since the influence of Venus, ruler of Taurus, on Neptune can make them ultra-romantic and impressionable. Those ruled by the number 7 typically like change and travel and this may create conflict for those born on May 7th who need to be close to their established base of operations because they were their homebodies. Um, health. Those born on May 7 must bring poles must bring the poles of their nature, mental and emotional and the spiritual and physical into balance early in life. Their struggle to do so may manifest in stress and nervous system in the nervous system which can go out of kilter. Later in life as those born on this day come to accept who they are, they will find peace. With advantage, age, physical exercise remains of great importance, but meditation and a balanced diet and spiritual or religious pursuits also provide healthy influences on the body. May 7 people do have to guard against letting their bodies go as they get older. Do not abuse, but rather, not to abuse, but rather neglect. As their concerns are with other matters, music serves as a very effective therapy for those born on this day. And my friend Marcus, he's um, yeah, into music and craft and stuff. So yeah, definitely resonates. Advice. Accept yourself as you are. Focus less on the past and attend to the next phase. Don't get carried away by your beliefs. Take rest periodically. Let up a bit in your demands. Meditation. Evolving is like sounding the notes of a scale. That sounds cool. Um, strengths. Dignified, devoted, aesthetic. Weaknesses. Unrealistic, troubled and frustrated. So, there we go. Another day from the secret language of birthdays thanks again once again for listening everyone i hope you enjoyed it like subscribe ring the bell do a dance do whatever you need to do um, tune in next time thank you very much may 7th the day of devotion mm -hmm.